The Newport News high rise need to be out by tomorrow. Residents received 48 hours notice to leave. That deadline is tomorrow. 10 on your side's Brett Hall is live at the complex. Brett, what's going on out there? Yeah, this is in downtown Newport News. Behind me, the Sea View Apartments. 150 units in there, 108 of them occupied, according to the city. And after several months of trying to get the landlord of this building, the owner, rather, to apparently make sure that the elevator that is working out of the two elevators here is up to code. A judge yesterday ordered they condemn the building until it is operating to the city's standards. And that means all those units have to leave. There are a lot of residents that have been gathering outside. We've talked to a lot of upset people uh, that they say that there's these problems have been persistent. They say there's been problems in the complex for a long time. We've tracked down the owner, Ben Weinstein. He's based in New Jersey. We have not been able to get him on the phone. He has an attorney. We have reached out. We have not heard back. We have also filed a Freedom of Information Act request to see uh, more specifics on the violations in this building. But right now, the people that live here, they don't care. They need the place to go, and they are in panic mode. I'm actually stranded. I'm without a house, a home, somewhere that I felt like I could have been at. Even though I wasn't safe, it was still somewhere to lay down at. Because I was barely here anyway. But when I was here, I was kind of like in disgust. I was... It was just too much, you know. I had to constantly worry about unnecessary stuff. It wasn't safe. Now, right now, the city has provided some services to try to find people places to go, but the woman we just spoke with, she has four children and a cat. She said she doesn't know if there's any easy place to relocate them all, especially in a day's time. Uh, they are hopeful, and the city says, the judge says in the lawsuit, if the owner makes the repairs to the one elevator that is already functioning, if they make the repairs that it is also safe in enough time, they will revoke the condemnation order and let people stay. But again, that clock is now ticking. We're going to have a lot more for you on this story coming up on Wavy News 10 at 530. Live in Newport News, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.